hey people good morning good afternoon and good evening according to your time um if you're meeting me for the first time my name is Ezine and this is Z Sport. so how are you all doing hope everybody is doing great so in today's video um i'm going to you know tell you guys how i applied for my mommy's um visitors visa here in canada and the tips and what we did um um for her application to be done you know so if this video is the video you'd like to watch or yeah so just keep on watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and also share welcome to this spot um um we applied for my mommy visa last day, February, um, beginning of February, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and what we submitted, we submitted letter of invitation, bank statement, proof that she's my mom, um, she did her biometrics, and she filled a form called background check. That is, in that background check, the they asked her about her qualification, about her family, her siblings, her parents, like everything about her uh, background check. So she filled the form. Um, the letter of invitation, technically, we are the one um, inviting her. So we are the one that wrote the letter of invitation. Bank statement is our own bank statement. Why? Because um, they want to know whether we are capable to take care of her during her stay here in Canada. And they prove that she's my mom. I don't know, because of fraud stars. So they now want proof that she, uh, that really she is my mom. So I provided my baptismal card and uh, my birth certificate. Yeah, those are the two certificates that I provided. And what else again? Yeah, she did her biometrics. Uh, no, after applying, after we submitted uh, all those forms, like birth certificates, baptismal card, proof, um, letter of invitation, bank statement, her background check that she um, filled, they have submitted it February. Then after two weeks, they sent her for her biometrics, which she did in lagos nigeria so um after a couple months a month before i put to bed because i applied february and my due date was june so i think july uh, uh, a month before june i my husband emailed them again to know what is happening or what was going on so the now to my husband is because of covid19 everything slowed down so that we have to so we have to have um some patience and you know yeah so um june passed july august um my husband friend now told us to go and meet our governor um representative here in abata so we now in uh, uh, grand Prairie abata so we now went um to the office we saw the secretary we told the secretary everything and uh, she said that they will give um the immigration a phone call and um, um they will get back to us so a couple of weeks later we didn't hear from the immigration we didn't hear from the uh, the office that we went to we now went back again we met the representative we discussed everything and uh, they assured us that they will they will uh, send an email to the immigration again or even call them so after a couple months we did hear from them again so for like um six months time you guys just um know that we applied february so i um, august we went and meet our uh, representative here in grand perry after a couple months we now went to my husband and I emailed um the immigration again and the uh, immigration and kenya because that was where they um they processed my mommy's visa so my mom and i emailed them again i was like what is happening we have we have um and uh, we have been waiting for so long now and nothing you know so then i emailed him back and told him that because of q people applying for um um, um visa uh, and with COVID, that we should uh, that we should apply to the link. They send us another link that we should apply there if we want um, fast application. 
and um, we we as we apply to we should apply with that link they sent in the email. So, but the the tricky thing there was um, we paid we paid uh, the first time we applied we paid one fifty dollars, and now they said that we should reapply it again. We have to pay all that money again and submit everything that we submitted um, um, February with the first applications. So we said, okay, that's okay. We applied again. We reapplied again. We paid one fifty dollars again. We submitted everything. Let off it letter of invite, um, bank statement, baptismal card, birth certificate, background check, and um, yeah, they used to have previous biometrics uh, to, to reapply for the second one. So we did that and uh, we reapplied and a uh, couple of weeks after that, they sent us an email that my mom should submit her passport wow so we contacted our, my mom and she submitted her, pa her passport then we, after a few days um, um they sent it back to her through feed, uh, fedex so yeah that is how um, everything went um and if you want the new link that they sent for us just give me um my instagram handle will be on the screen here or there just send me a dm and i will give you and i will send you the new link because i my friend again here in canada calgary she's she used the same link that the new link to apply for her mom and within one month they called her to send her uh, email uh, her passport so if you need the new link just email me email me my email my email is in my description box and uh, my um my instagram handle will be here or there so email ad email um address is in my description box just send me a dm and i will forward you the link that's um, the new link and uh, yeah i hope this will be helpful for you and yeah we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um comment and um, um share this video because this video might be helpful to people to so many people like not everybody know about this new link so um yeah that is it and uh, i will see you in my nest for now bye mm -hmm.